you're like taking off. <laughs> Get that cat off my head. <laughs> When I was younger, I used to look up to my brother. Then, in a horrible root beer mire accident, he fell and scraped both of his knees simultaneously. Ever since that day, I knew I had to do the root beer mile. I had to rise above what broke my brother, and I had to bring honor back to my family. And that is why I'm doing the root beer mile. There are no smiles to be had. The root beer mile is not only an event of root beer and puke, but of blood, sweat, tears. My main competition have to be Cameron Taylor. Red shirt. The root beer mile is more than just a one day event for me. It's a way of life. I've been practicing since birth for this day. I've perfected some very advanced techniques, like the ability to puke behind myself so that it pushes me forward ahead of my competitors. I have to win. I am prepared to go for the gold and do everything I have to do to defeat everyone around me. I have to do it for my family. Well, last time I did it, and I didn't throw up, and I finished the whole thing. But I went really slow, and then that night I thought I was going to die, and almost went to the hospital. <laughs> I've been training so hard, Duke of Ed all weekend, I ate so much stuff just to prepare for this. I've been preparing for this root beer model since yesterday. I've eaten nothing but high protein granola bars and drank nothing but Sprite. It's a common fact that Sprite is the exact opposite of root beer. Thus, my stomach will be ready to intake large amounts of root beer for this month. Because I ate eggs, bacon, some Eggs are good for you. Eggs are basic. Um, She's done the research. <laughs> What else did I eat? Oh yeah, I ate a chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's my last year of high school and I want to be able to do the root beer mile before school ends. Alright, are you going to win? Yeah. Of course. Well, you guys been practicing a lot on my road and down prospect running. Right on, right on. Who do you think is your biggest competitor in the root beer mile 20, 2013? Oh, Josh Cameron. Oh, yeah.
kitchen. Oh. We'll see. I'll try not to puke. This is where you lose it? I'll definitely puke all over Rosie. If possible.
It was really good. I threw up this year. I felt so much better than not throwing up, but it came out my nose. And there was these guys who told me they weren't watching me, but they were judging me. Josh didn't even do it yet. <laughs> Take the mic! <laughs> hey, Pat. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Everybody hits the road. What the Buddy, good buddy. Give him a hand Give him a hand Give him a hand Joe walks over. That was fun. I think I came in like in sixth or seventh. Oh. Now the cops will get me. But girl, if you This video is wonderful. Put it in that room, guys. By the end, move your taste in like your head. Like, <laughs> it's, it's weird. It was magic on that day. We could both get off. Later, bathing in the afterglow. Lots of coke got cut with um, great experience. My training paid off. Um, the funny thing about it is people think that puking is a bad thing. Puking is the best part. Immediately after puking, you are light, you are fresh. You just sprint after that. The hard part is seeing seeing children die.